Hey friends, welcome back to my Sana channel. If you don't subscribe, please subscribe. Hey, Bondurasha, Kuya, Prasha, Valo, Salam. It's a great feeling to go back, going to India. We're going to India for two months. So it took, it took great feelings after a long time we're going to see our family. So I'm not in India to talk to you. So hopefully we're in the plane. We're going to have a lot of activity. So because our flight, like we have to hold Delhi for 21 hours. So we stay for Delhi for two days. So I'm going to many 21 hour hold for the Delhi to touch number two days. We're going to talk about this. So we're going to have a great feeling to see the Taj Mahal finally. When I wrote Taj Mahal, like I have a finally. So kids were very, after we learned in Delhi, they were so crazy and it's so hot. They said, my little one said, how long we have to stay in India? Can we go back? It's very hot and it's burning. So I want to tell them this. I got to show me the India to take away. Can we go back? It's very like we got all money. So I want to fly to India with this. So I'm glad to see. I want the luggage pick up cars with me. So we got a flight line when we were trying to go pick up our luggage from Delhi airport. So now finally we're in the airport in India. So after we ate our food and we're going on the way to Taj Mahal. So I'm going to eat the food and I'm going to eat the food and I'm going to eat the food. So it's going to take three and a half hours to go there. My shower didn't go to the way to Taj Mahal. So we rent our private uh, cars and we have a guide there. So I'm going to eat the food and I'm going to eat the food. Plus, I'm going to guide us here. I'm going to explain to you all of it down. And he's going to help us. So, I'm going to guide you to the whole Taj Mahal. We should explain to you and help you. So, we could do everything quickly. It was very hot. It was 106 degrees. But at the world, I'm going to have our skin. I'm going to have our skin burning. So, we have been burning our skin a lot. After we was whole day. And the end, I was like crazy. I said, no more. We should go back. With the red sandy stone. Red sandy stone, it was carried from the Fatehpur Sikri, 40 km from other. The height of this gate 30 meters and the wide is 50 meters. Taj Mahal, it was built by Tipu Mughal Emperor Sazana, just below this third white Mumtaz. He had three wives, you see the three gates, each gate for each wife. The east gate for the first wife for Indi Begum, the west gate for the second wife Fatehpuri Begum, the south gate for the main wife <laughs> Mumtaz. Wow. And it took 22 years to build the Taj Mahal. 22 years. 22? So we have two walls also. Yeah. If you see the small dome at the top of the gate, 11 this side, 11 other side. Ah. Make the total, these are the number of the years, 22 years. 20. And 20,000 workers used to work for every day, 20,000. So these are the rooms for the 20,000 workers. When it was very hard during a monsoon, they were working inside the room. Around the gate, you see the calligraphy. 
It is written in Arabic language. In what's taken from the holy book of the Quran, this is not painted. This is called the inlaid, engraved the stones. So these are the real gems. Like a black is onyx, green is malachite, red is cornelian, yellow is agate, blue is lapis lazuli. Mm. So all are real gems. So we are going to see the Taj Mahal, which is one of the seven wonder in the world. It has a dream for everyone to see one time in life. Yeah. Let's go. the world. Saha means Emperor Jahami's world and he was born in Lahore right now in Pakistan 1592 and Mumtaz was the title which was given by Saha after their marriage. Her original name was Arshuman Banu Deza. You know the first Mughal Emperor was the Bawal who came in India 1526. In the 50s, Second was the Humayun. Listen, listen, listen. Fort Jahangir, Fifth Sazaha, Sixth Aurangir. And there were 17 Mughal emperors. The last was the Bahadur Shah Zafar. And they ruled in India 400 years. Then British came here, they ruled 200 years. And 1947, they got independence. So Sarza and Mumtaz, they got married in 1612. At that time, Mumtaz was 19 years old, Sarza was 21 years old. And she was the third wife. When he got first married, he was 15 years old. Second, 17, third, 21. After marriage, they were very happy. But when Muntaz was in, was in a small village, Quran for 1,000 kilometers from Agra, and she gave 14 babies. After 14 child, she passed away with complicated delay. After the death of his wife, Emperor became very disappointed, and he locked himself inside the room for eight days. He refused to have food, no drinking water, even if here they cannot carry in one night. After eight days, he came out from the room and decided to get alive his wife in the morning. So he called out of our picture from the first year. The main architecture was Muhammad Ustah Lahuri. Second was the Isa Khan, third Amanat Khan who did the calligraphy. So we can see the construction of the Taj Mahal started after the death of his wife in 1631 and completed 1652. It means it took 22 years. And 20,000 water used to work for every day. It is totally with the white marble that was carried from the Makrana. It is a city in Rajasthan, 350 kilometers from Mahal. At that time, there was no transportation. So the white mall was carried by the elephant, horse, and camel. That's what took a long time. And Muntaz passed away there, but Sazan took her dead body and kept here for six months, like a mummy. And then she buried here. She was 39 years old when she died. 14 kids, but six alive, eight died. Four sons and two daughters. This is a place for the Muslim, for the pair and the Now she can take two more. The left side and the right side to her left side mosque it is empty for the prayer. That's why every Friday is closed. But for the Muslim people it's open we come here. Right side we are looking at we call the Royal Guest House to make a similar to the current of the Taj Mahal. And the foundation of the Taj Mahal is very strong because under the foundation there are three sea water wells which were built with a stone and covered with a peat wood because of the holy volume that is in the Taj on the platform you are looking at four minarets depending on each corner. One, two, three, four. The height of the minaret is 120 feet or 40 meters. And inside the minaret, 100 steps to go on the top, round one. 
when Parmal was open for the public, all the doors were open. People used to go on the top. But some young boy, they made a suicide fire and they couldn't come to the minaret. That's why government decided to close the door. You see the minaret, it's not still like that. You see on the top, so I can lean it out. A bit different, but that's it. The architecture they thought for the detail, they think they have to give detail. It will not fall in the inside on the main door. It will fall outside. Just protect of the main door. The height of the main door is 243 feet from the Adam up to the Pinac. It's about 73 meters. It is little bit taller than the Tumina and Dal. It's 0.5 meters. It has double dome. It's the dome of the mausoleum, just like the mosque and other. There are four small domes in the heart of the Rajasthan. It has four octagonal columns. So before it was a beautiful devotee with the gold, diamond, face, stone, carpet, and cement. At that time, Sazan spent around 4 million rupees. At that time, 400 years. Right now, uncommonly. This is the pennant that was made of the gold. But when British were here, they took the gold, they placed in brass. Now this is brass. No? Yeah, before it was made of the gold. So after you complete this, Emperor wanted to get build another one, black one. Orange, just other side of the river here now. You build a foundation, but one of the son Orange, who was the younger son, but he was very poor, so he killed his two older brothers to become him. He didn't want to really spend more money, so he put his father in jail in the Arab Fort, 1658. His sergeant spent eight years, he puts his father in the Arab Fort. After eight years, he passed away at the age of 76. But his desire was to bury him in his heart, my name is Shukwai. He had two daughters, Jahanara and Egham Musama. Jahanara was very close to Bala, she took his dead body and made him like this. I mean, this is husband and wife, both are. But the real tombs are down the stairs, which are closed, and we are going to see the slap lake. And Taj Mahal is known as a perfect symmetrical monument. If you see from any side, it looks the same, no idea. If you see the garden, then you can see it. Oh, yeah. It's like a charba dinira, genetic from like the paradise. 1653, 1653 pounds, 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 it's a unique, it is a speechless monument. Makrana marble, it keeps changing color in the future. In the morning it becomes white, afternoon yellow, evening pink is color. Reflect of the sunlight changes the color. Yeah. Before the COVID, 30,000 people used to come back with 30,000. 10,000, almost 20,000 locals. But right now, just five or ten. So now we are going inside, I will show the beautiful carving in the beautiful gem. Any question if you have? No.
with the new light. Is the master. First of all, they need the coin, a paper, then they choose the outline, make the design, mm -hmm. and according to this design, they stitch. They use many different kinds of things like the cotton, silk, silver, silver with the gold columns, copper columns. Like this is the procedure, this is all the metal thread. So what they use the cotton and silk thread also. So like this, they make the beautiful evening process for the ladies. Also they make 12 cafe and here you can see they make some ball panel also. Because this is the art from the Mughal time and generation to generation people they are making like this. For the whole generation. This is totally done by the metal truck. And also they stitch the stone also. Mostly in Zakunzi, the
when they complete like this, then they put on the marble where it has to be laid. Just lay down, then they scrape the outline with the chisel. Then they remove the stones, then they cut the marble. Hardest marble in the world is come from Makarana, 400 km from Agra's marble. This is the glue, see it. Then they fix with the glue, very very hard. How they use the dry glue? Dry glue they put it in a cavity, then they heat it by burning charcoal, so glue can mend like a paste. Then they fix it, then they wash it, clean it, so red color is goes off, become white, shiny like that. This is the way Tazmal was built in the 50 years back. So we are the people, the tradition of those people to build Tazmal.